Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl from Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to do it. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Christian versus Muslim debate, love and justice. A big shout out to the person that suggested this and I've actually reacted to this guy and I really really love his videos and his the way he just delivers his message. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah, assalamu alaikum and welcome all viewers. Today we will be analyzing a conversation between Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq and two Christians. The first thing I want to remind all of us is that first you get the knowledge, then you convey the message, and then you leave the rest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now this man here in the t-shirt, he makes a very bold claim. He says that the Christian God is just and loving, while God, according to Islam, is unjust. So let's see his attempt at justifying this claim. So the difference between Allah and Yahweh, okay. the God that I believe in, Christian, okay. uh, Christian God, um, is that our God is just and loving, whereas yours is unjust, okay? I'm, a, I'm about to do that. Okay. That's what I'm about to do. Okay. I'm listening. So, in God's courtroom, we have sinned against God, mm -hmm. and there is a price to pay. Okay. Jesus comes in, and if we repent and believe that Jesus is Lord, and that He came to die as a sacrifice for our sins, okay. then He pays our fine, gotcha. and even though we're guilty, mm -hmm. we get to get out for free. Okay. Because God, because God said, okay, the price is paid. Okay. Okay, so I want to break this down as clearly as possible. The truth is very clear. It's simple, it's not confusing and complicated. He's saying the Christian God is loving and just because the human being has sinned against God. Therefore, in God's courtroom, we are forgiven when Jesus pays the price for us if we believe in him. That is the argument this man is making. He's saying that is loving and just. Jesus, an innocent man, being punished for the sins of mankind and letting those that believe in him go free and be forgiven. This is justice according to this man and his belief. Now let's see how he tries to justify the claim that Allah is unjust in Islam. Your God doesn't have a sacrifice. Okay, You just Great. ask him for forgiveness, so therefore and he just forgives you, and so it's an unjustified forgiveness. Wow, you really believe that? So he says it's an unjustified forgiveness because... In Islam, we just ask Allah for forgiveness and Allah forgives us. Now let's see how Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq responds. You're saying that a God, like as our belief Allah, Allah okay. right? Let's say you go and you kill this man, right. right? And his family does not forgive you for that murder. And that God says, you know what? You believe in Jesus, so even though you killed the man, you're good to go no matter what their family thinks. This is what you're saying, right? Well, I'm saying the difference is that Jesus actually wait, wait. Okay. takes so let, let, let's the go penalty there. for Okay, so let, let's go to that. Let, let's take let's take the take the penalty okay. case, okay? Let's say this gentleman comes to my store. Okay. Okay, how you doing? And he steals something from my store. Okay. Okay, he sinned. He right. did something he shouldn't have. He sinned against you. He sinned against, against me. Allah. There you go. Okay. He comes to me and he asks for forgiveness. Okay. And I tell him, no, blood has to be paid for your sin. So I'm gonna send my son to you, kill my son, my innocent son that hasn't sinned, and then you're you're good to go. To me, that makes absolutely no sense. Wait, let, let me finish. By this man's logic, he's saying if somebody commits a crime, if the person he committed a crime against were to just forgive him, that would be unjust. However, what would be just is if the person who the crime was committed against killed their own son then they would be justified in forgiving the criminal. It clearly does not make sense. However, all we can do when we are giving da'wah is convey the message. It's up to them whether or not they want to accept it. 
Let me finish. Sure. He, he repented. Let's say he repented. Okay. He repented. But I'm like, even though you repented, I can't forgive you until you kill my son. Wow. That's what you call loving. That's what you call just. My, my God, my Allah is so loving and so merciful that even without killing an innocent person, he can forgive your sin. How's that for merciful and loving? My God, my God is so, how is that unjust? Killing an innocent person is not justice. Killing Jesus, an innocent, at least from our belief, a prophet, from your belief of God, but an innocent person at least being killed for our sins is not any more just than you saying that because those gang members robbed the place, we're going to kill this guy and his death is now a, 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 a payment for their sins. To me, that doesn't, it's not just that it doesn't make sense. It's brutal. What do you mean it's unjust. I'm sorry. See, the truth is so clear and they're basically speechless because this is the truth. This is obvious. They can either humble themselves and admit that or they can just keep trying to manipulate reality to make falsehood true somehow in some sort of demented, warped way. I'm sorry? What do you mean an innocent person dying? Jesus was innocent, right? Gee, yes, that's the He was killed, right? That's so right. killing an innocent was person... Who was Jesus? It was, was God. Okay. So Jesus killing so God, God... killed God. God killed God? Killed God, killed God in the form of... God Jesus. killed... Wait, wait, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let, let me just try to understand this. Let, you see, that's what I was saying. Who am I talking? You see, his insistence on trying to justify the unjustifiable led him to articulate what he really believes. He believes God killed God. And of course, that does not make sense conceptually. And they all sort of recognize that and they start laughing. Yeah, that's, that's an absurd thing to say. But that's what they're doing. They are arguing absurd positions. No, no you said God killed God. I didn't mean that in, in the way. What did you mean? Though. That's right. God, God okay. said God killed Romans God. Killed God. Jesus. Okay, the, the Romans, Romans killed, killed God? See, and now he's trying to reward it. The Romans killed Jesus. Well, why didn't he say the Romans killed God? If they believe Jesus was God and the Romans killed Jesus, then they believe the Romans killed God. But they struggle with even articulating that because we it's obviously absurd. Allah does not die. Allah cannot be killed. Our Romans were pretty powerful. They killed God. They killed, they killed Jesus. You said Jesus was God. Yeah, Jesus is God. So Romans killed God. <laughs> SubhanAllah, you see how he couldn't even really say, he didn't even say that like with certainty and enthusiasm. But they want to hold on to their beliefs so bad. Even though the truth is clearly being conveyed before them. Yeah. They killed the man. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can one of you talk to me? Because I, I don't know who to respond to. No, which one? Because because he jumped in and said God killed God. You said Romans killed God. I'm, I'm just wondering how many people killed God. Okay. The I am. So Jesus is fully man and fully God. Okay, that, to me that doesn't make sense, but it's okay. I'll, ex I'll, I'll accept. I'll accept what you're saying. Can I let him speak? Then? So, so, so let him speak. Can Can we have a conversation? I'm I'm trying to understand him. Respect him and let him speak. I'm listening. Okay, so you're right. It's really hard to understand. Thank you. And a lot of people, even Christians, have a hard time dealing with this. Okay. Yes, it's very hard to understand. Even Christians have a hard time dealing with it, because all due respect to any Christians watching this video. It does not make sense. It does not add up. There's a reason why you cannot conceptualize or understand the most important aspect of your religion. God is one. God has the most perfect names and attributes. God cannot be killed. God does not die. God can do whatever he wants. If God wants to forgive somebody, he can forgive them. Jesus worshiped God. Jesus was a prophet of God. Okay. So, he was killed, right? Because he's a man, he can be killed but also he has the power to resurrect himself because he's God. So he sacrificed himself for mankind. Yeah. Just as throughout the Old Testament, they did sacrifices of sheep, goat, cattle. They did all these sacrifices to point towards the That's final sacrifice, the, uh, which is Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is the atonement for our sins. His sacrifice is how we reconcile ourselves back to God. All of our sins are placed on him and he takes the punishment for our sin. So the price is paid while still God is being merciful to us. Okay, I'm just listening. No, not at all. You see the irony about how he tried to make it seem like Islam was unjust? Yet he, out of his own mouth, is telling you a very unjust scenario. 
about Jesus, an innocent man, having to pay the price for everyone else's sins. That is not just. And you can even see his body language and what he's saying. He's grasping at straws. He's just trying to come up with something to keep arguing his point, which has already thoroughly been exposed as not making any sense. Not at all. It doesn't answer your question. It does not. Can I, let's speak now? Right. Right. Without your interruption? Right. Thank you. So, when you say that he was God, okay. okay, and he was killed by the Romans, according to you, to me, first off, that doesn't make sense. I don't see how humans can kill God, whether in human form or other. That's my, I'm, I'm just telling you, you can shake your head all you like, I'm speaking. I'm not interrupting. So, you just did. No, now, <laughs> okay. Uh, now, see, when it comes to our belief in Allah, we have fundamental principles. Part of our fundamental principles regarding our understanding of Allah is that He has the most perfect names and attributes. From our foundational principles is that Allah is one and there is nothing like Him. So to attribute any sort of deficiency to Him, to say that He was killed, to say that He is incapable of forgiving someone's sins without a sacrifice, to say that a human being was God, these things are foundationally contrary to the guidance that Allah revealed to us in his book, the Qur'an, and through the teachings of his messenger, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. However, these two Christians that are having the debate, they don't have a strong, proper foundation. This is why they are saying clear, contradictory things that don't make sense. This is why they are saying things that are clearly blasphemous, things that are unbefitting of Allah. Now, to say, that God had to kill God, God the Father, God the Son, for that to be an atonement for our sins is absolutely unjust because God, Jesus, that came as a man, had not done any sins. That is the same as if this man killed somebody and I go to court and say, hey, can you put me to death instead of him because I want to be a sacrifice. No court on the face of the earth will accept that. If he killed somebody, he has to be put to trial for it. Not an innocent person taking the place of his killing somebody. No court on the face of the earth would accept that. And no just mind would accept that. That makes absolutely... Killing an innocent person for the sins of others, to me, is not just, it's not loving, and it's not merciful. That is why you did not answer my question and okay. I have reiterated my belief. Okay, I think I get your point. Okay. Good. So, my question is, mm -hmm. can God do anything He wants? Okay, I've answered this already, but I will answer it again. I do not put any restrictions on God, but I believe in a just God, okay. a God of the Quran that tells me He does not hold accountable anybody else for anybody else's sin. Okay. Nobody, can I finish? Yeah. Nobody will bear this, the burden of sin for somebody else. And I believe that is the just, fair, loving, merciful God. Okay. So you see, Shaykh Uthman, he has certain foundational principles based on the Quran and authentic Sunnah. There isn't this inconsistent, just off the top of my head, trying to come up with stuff to justify certain things that I want to believe. There are clear-cut, fundamental truths, clear ayat in the Qur'an, verses, clear teachings, a hadith, authentic from the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, addressing all of these different issues. For example, speaking of justice, Allah tells us, Whosoever does righteous good deeds, it is for the benefit of his own self. And whosoever does evil, it is against his own self. And your Lord is not at all unjust to his slaves. That is justice. That makes sense. Allah tells us in Surah 35, Ayah 18, And no bearer of burdens will bear the burden of another. And if a heavily laden soul calls another to carry some of its load, nothing of it will be carried, even if he should be a close relative. You can only warn those who fear their Lord unseen and have established prayer. And whoever purifies himself only purifies himself for the benefit of his soul. And to Allah is the final destination. That is justice. The other topic this Christian man brought up was Allah being loving. It was reported that the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Allah the Almighty has said, O son of Adam, as long as you invoke me and ask of me, I shall forgive you for what you have done, and I shall not mind. O son of Adam, were your sins to reach the clouds of the sky, 
and you then asked forgiveness from me, I would forgive you. O oh, son of Adam, were you to come to me with sins nearly as great as the earth, and were you then to face me, ascribing no partner to me, I would bring you forgiveness nearly as great as it too. How can somebody say that Allah is not loving? How can somebody dare say Allah is not merciful or forgiving? That Allah cannot forgive. Allah can do whatever He wants. And we don't just sit there off the top of our head arguing with people, coming up with stuff without knowledge. When speaking about Allah, when speaking about His names and attributes, it's all based on the Quran and authentic Sunnah. That's why number one, you have to get the knowledge. Then number two, you convey the message. And then number three, you leave the rest to Allah. You have patience. You let the person you are inviting to the truth decide for themselves. That does it for this video. Thank you for watching. Inshallah, there will be more videos in the future where we take clips from some of these conversations and give some brief commentary. Jazakumullahu khairan to everyone who has supported the channel. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Very interesting argument they had. Um, I don't want to sit here and say everyone thinks like that because that would be unfair. Um, <clears throat> let he who wants to hear hear and those that want to learn learn you can't um force someone to um to understand you if, if they don't want to understand you the whole point of this i admire these conversations or these uh people the, the the back and forth conversations people have because at the end of the day you're getting new information what people don't understand is not everyone is um exposed to another person's religion so when you come talk to someone you've got your own belief they have their own belief so at the end of the day you're going to stand by what you believe they're going to stand by what they believe but the good thing is once you exchange or have that conversation it's up to you yes you're talking to someone you want to stand your ground you don't want to say you know what you're making sense Others wait until they go home and say, what, you know what, that person was making sense. Let me look into this thing. Others will just um, do as they please. Otherwise, it's always important to research and it's up to us to accept what's presented to us or totally ignore it. Just like in school, we took so many courses and we managed to fall in love with more than one thing. We should also look into other subjects in life. And we'll be shocked to find out what we can find out. Otherwise, this was amazing. And a big shout out to the person that suggested this. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.